bunny. What's this bunny's name? Summer. Summer. Are you in this one? That's Iris. In this one? Bean. <laughs> No, it's uh -huh. Okay, do you want to feed Maddie? <laughs> See, she does that. Here you go. Yeah, here, you take bites off of it. Maddie, no! <laughs> when your kids refuse to go to bed. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna round them up. Ready? Get. Yeah! <laughs> get in there, get in there! Okay, two! Oh, no, you don't. Now what? Get in there. Oh, the little brats are going around the van. Well, my clothes stopped dripping, and they're actually almost dry by the end of the day, but it's about to rain, so I hung them in the van on my curtain rod and on the trekking poles. It's starting to rain right now. Great morning for a walk, starting to rain. Okay, I'm going to try to do something that I haven't done yet in the van. It's raining out right now, so I'm going to try to make my no blender smoothie sitting inside the van instead of outside. So I've never had to do this before. I'll be curious to see. Put that cover to my right on the bed. I'm gonna need this bowl. And I got this fork out of the cover part. What else? I gotta get in the fridge. This fridge is a little kind of been been a little small for me. What I do do is I put everything in a smaller container like this is almond milk. And these were frozen frozen fruit that I just put in this jar and it's all thawed out now. I think what I need to do to compensate for the small fridge is I have a jar of sauce in there that's open. I need to just get really small jars of sauce like individual use ones. And I also have salad dressing in there. I need to start making my own salad dressing that doesn't have to be refrigerated with just like olive, and, olive oil and vinegar and spices. Well, that wasn't too bad. I mean, I can reach everything, it's just... You have to kind of dig through everything in the fridge. That's the hard part. I guess if I did have to cook like using the burner, you know, I could open this window over here and just put the burner over here on like the Patriots rug and you know, it's good to know that I could I could can get at everything, so that's good to know. One thing I did just did that should help a little bit is I pushed this container over a little bit and then the fridge over to the left there. Now, the cover will stay open on its own because a second ago I had to use one hand to hold the cover open and then dig through. So that helps a little bit. So I'm in Portland, Maine. This is the Eastern Promenade, which has this little trail right along the ocean. It's actually a bike path. This trail will lead into a bike path, a paved path. So today is Friday. Um, what's the date? I don't know, 14th, 15th? I uh, need to be back by tonight but I can be late tonight, that's fine. Then I'll be home for Saturday and Sunday. And then Monday I leave for the Western Mass area and then Central New York a couple days after that or just whenever I want to. 
Yesterday it rained all day. We kind of had a walking dead marathon. Activity resumed. So that's a good thing to do on a rainy day. There's a bike path down there, which I will be joining in a few minutes. Activity paused. It's pretty here though. So I'm just gonna talk here a few minutes. Sorry about the jiggling. Talking while I'm walking here. So I had this, um, well, you know how most van dwellers have like another way of getting around besides their vehicle. You know, whether it be a bike or a skateboard, or boosted board or whatever. And I have a bike, but the bad thing about a bike is, number one, if you don't ride a bike on a regular basis, your butt's going to get sore pretty quickly, and it's going to be sore for quite a while. And number two, carrying a bike on the back of the van, it's, you know, exposed to all the weather. And in my case, I like to lift up that hatch to, to cook from, and I would have to take the bike off every time I wanted to do that. Trail kind of breaks off right here. They're calling it the Mid Slope Trail to East End Community School. I think I'll just take this and see where it goes and then come back. So back to what I was saying. So I think the bike's kind of out of the question. And of course, skateboarding is out of the question. I'm not, you have to be, you know, good at that to be safe with that. Criteria has to be, it's gotta be safe for me to use, you know, so I'm not gonna get hurt. It has to be easy to transport and fit in the van, inside the van. You know, and I prefer something that actually also gives me exercise. You know, an even bonus would be if it was really a practical way to actually get around places where you could cover more ground faster, but also sightsee at the same time, like you would be able to do on a bike. So yesterday, well the other day I was on this same path. We're going to turn around, the school's right there. All right, so now I'm back on the bike path. So a couple days ago, I was actually walking right about here. And Activity resumed. Couple. They were an older couple, probably, probably my age, if not older, and they were rollerblading. So I was, I was talking to them a little bit and I asked them if they ever got hurt, you know, rollerblading. They're like, no, no, absolutely not. They never have. They had the, all the equipment on the wrist guards and the knee pads and everything, which I would definitely do. They didn't have a helmet on, but I would probably wear a helmet. You know, and I thought, oh, that, I always used to, when my oldest son was young, he was into rollerblading for a while, and I had some, and I used to rollerblade with him. And uh, so I would feel safe doing that. I feel like I have enough skill with that that I could do that. And I'd probably mostly just do it on stuff like this, the bike path. I might think about that. I'm gonna go look at some and try some on. I would I would definitely get a decent pair like at a sporting goods place as opposed to just a cheap pair at Walmart. If I'm gonna do what I want to be comfortable. You know it's funny about this you got the beautiful ocean on one side and then over here you have the water treatment plant which kind of smells. So I figure you know it's just rollerblades and the pads, I could find room for that in the van. You know, just put them in a bag, even if it was on the floor in the front seat. So, who knows? You might see me sporting some rollerblades one of these days. Another place that is a bike path, I grew up in Milford, Massachusetts. My dad is actually going to be going to adult daycare a couple days a week near there. So I could use them then too. I mean, I don't know if I'd feel comfortable going around a city in them or not. 
I guess it just depends. I don't even know, can you use those on the sidewalk or what? I don't know the laws about that. Because some places you can't ride a bike on the sidewalk. I don't know if the laws would be the same for rollerblades. Look at all this graffiti here. Activity paused. Activity resumed. Sorry if you can hear my other app is going and it tells me when I stop walking. I don't know if you can hear that. So that bike path turned into Back Cove Trail. I think I'm going on like almost four miles now. Another mile or so to go. I just did a huge loop. You can't even see it all, but all the way around this bay, cove, whatever you want to call it. You can't even see everything over here. So I'm trying to heat up some leftover pizza. Works pretty good. Good morning. I don't have anything for you. You either. <laughs> 